set. Going to be a quarterback run, but Pickett is gobbled up. Near side, that's just too easy. And they haven't had the building full like this in quite some time. Chris Dulu will punt from his own end zone, a semifinalist for the Ray Guy Award a year ago. Trayvon Flowers is deep for Tennessee. Here come the Volunteers. They blocked it on the goal line. The ball is free at the two, and Tennessee jumps on it there. Christian Charles with the block. Well, partner, I had a chance to talk with the special teams coordinator, Coach Eckler, before the game, and he told me they identified something on tape. They felt that they had a fantastic chance to come after the opening punt. He told me, watch, 14's going to come clean. I mentioned it to you, and wow, perfect execution. They had practiced this all week and found the perfect opportunity, and what a start here in Rocky Top. As you told me, the, the coaches felt that there was a weakness, and they were coming after that first punt. Time perfectly. Maybe take a shot here. Second and short. Some pressure comes from the outside, right? Feels it, and that one is picked off. Theo Jackson breaks a tackle. Theo will take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. They have a couple things when you see this. You talk about the long cast. There's also pressure there by Tennessee. Nice job. Roman Harris is the guy with the pressure. But Theo Jackson, he is reading it all the way. Theo, he jumps that little, you know, they run the out routes, and he's just, he just, he jumps it. He jumps it right away, and he gets into the lane, and there is nothing that Vanderbilt can do to stop it. Theo Jackson is tied for first in the SEC and pass is broken up, but hasn't had an interception until just now. He's been so close, but he finally gets one, and the result is a pick six for the senior out of Nashville, Tennessee. He had an interception and a touchdown in this rivalry game in Tennessee with a 7-0 lead. That opened the door for Hooker to come in, and it's hard to take a guy out who's been playing this well. Big run. In the open field, it is a track meet. He's to the 20, to the 10, touchdown, Tennessee, 92 yards. Three possessions, three touchdowns, making it look easy. That one is one play. That time, Missouri does bring pressure off of the edge, and no one is there to fill that gap. Nice job of just executing by the Tennessee Vols. And that's a house call. Wow. Ninety-two yards. Tennessee has now put up 160 yards rushing with 313 to go here in the first quarter. There's pressure off of the edge, and all he does is hit it. I mean, the other uh, question was, was he going to allow the defense Ensign Rakestraw to be able to catch him? And he's just, you can see he's just striding out, and that's just way too easy. Part of this identity under Jeff Levy is getting the receivers split wide. He's got two outside the numbers on either side. Pressure, Corral flips it. He was in the grasp and they're looking for a safety, but he never left the pocket as Omari Thomas got to him. Is there a receiver there? I don't see any low numbers. All I saw were offensive linemen.
There's a heck of a power with guys from both teams trying to get in on it. Corral is probably lobbying there, going, oh, yeah, that was, uh, you know, 24 was kind of right there, and, uh, you know, someone else was 17 was in there. Yeah, did you see the numbers? Yeah, come on. Here we go. Mark Curls. Intentional grounding. Yeah. Number two, offense. Was in the pocket. Through the pass where there was no arms of the receiver. That was an end zone. First Tennessee safety since Derek Barnett against Vanderbilt in 2015. Everybody had this being a 7-2 game in the first quarter. And this is so hard as a quarterback. Amari Thomas comes right up the middle for one. You see it so late. And for two, you got nowhere to go, especially when you're standing in your end zone. I mean, a heck of a job by Thomas there, shedding the blocker. All 6'4", 320 pounds of him, making a huge play for Tennessee right there. Tennessee leading power five with tackles for loss. And they've been behind the line of scrimmage a number of times tonight. It's the pressure off the edge and Hooker keeps it. Hooker steps up, throws a bullet out to the wide side of the field. Dancing around goes Tillman. Still on his feet, cuts it back to the five, touchdown. Cedric Tillman, 46 yards, his second touchdown of the day. Dave, we talked earlier about how Tennessee spreads you out, and they want you to have to tackle in space. And you see Tillman, he just runs a stop route. And once he's able to get the football in his hand, he makes people miss. Alan George being the main guy there, once he made him miss, it's off to the races. And the point after up and good from Chase McGrath. How about two plays, 75 yards? Hooker started with a 30-yard run. Then Tillman does his part. 31-7 volunteers. Hooker, downfield, has a receiver wide open. Touchdown, Javante Payton. Four straight games with a TD for Payton. That's what they've been building towards with all the short passes, with all the short quarterback runs and each. Coming into this game, they had seven plays of 40 plus yards in 2021. Hendon Hooker had accounted for four of those 40-yard pass plays and adds what's close to another on that one. Peyton has been a big play machine for Tennessee this year. That was Javante Peyton's ninth reception of the season. Four have gone for touchdowns. TDs of 35, 75, 29, and that one from 39. Young is holding it just a little longer than he did in the first half. What do you think Tennessee has done to cause that? Oh, they get there. It is blocked by Tennessee, and the ball came loose. So the Volunteers are going to take over on a block punt early third quarter. Looks like what a great job here by Deshaun Rucker for Tennessee. He comes off the right side, number 28, gets a hand on it. And it's just poorly protected by Alabama's punt protection. That second line has to do a better job. You can't allow free rusher. And now Tennessee is knocking on the door.
Out of the backfield, this is Evans with a good block in front, and Tyon Evans is off to the end zone. 47-yard touchdown for the Vols. And made possible by the big fella up front. Watch how he's able to get out in front. This is Darnell Wright and secure the edge. All he has to do is get a little bit of a piece there of Bernie, the defender. Next thing you know, he was out the gate. What an answer from the Tennessee Volunteers. Great way to respond. Tennessee, they love to be high tempo offense, quick strike, and that's what they did here. On the road, down at the swamp, after Florida made it look so easy on their opening drive. Tyon Evans was the number one Juco running back in the country. Showed it there, didn't he, folks? We got a 7-7 game early on at the Swamp. Right, why play 11 on 11 when you can play 6 on 6 and 7 on 7? That's what this Tennessee offense does and a reason their ground game has been on fire this year. And here comes the tempo. To throw, end zone, caught! Touchdown, Cedric Tillman. No chasing points for Tennessee. They will go for one after that quick three play drive. Point after punch through Tennessee, the safety and a touchdown, and the Volunteers suddenly have the lead. I'll tell you what, watch the post on the outside, but keep your eyes on Otis Reese right here and how the play action affects him. He stays low, stays low, and he is late getting over to that post by just a step. Great throw by Hendon Hooker, but it was the play action that held that safety that made the opening on the outside for Cedric Tillman. D.J. Durkin, the Ole Miss defensive coordinator, told me before the game, Jordan, those tight end looks that Tennessee will give you, whether it's a split look where they come flat across the line of scrimmage or they insert kind of like they did with that play, or at least showed an insert on that play, really has stressed the linebackers and safeties in practice this week. You saw how that can affect the back end of the defense on that play. Look, Hendon Hooker, there was some question as we said off the top whether or not he'd play in this game. And Alex Golish, his offensive coordinator, said he is even tougher than I ever expected when we first got him. This down the middle is right on target. And a big breakaway for Tennessee's touchdown. Javante Payton takes it all the way. And Nick Saban has got to be thinking that's why that penalty is just unacceptable. McGrath for the extra point. And suddenly this place which was surging now has a hush over it as Tennessee's taken a lead. Kentucky coming in tonight, ranked 18th in the country, one of seven ranked teams in the first reveal of the college football playoff. With Georgia and Alabama in the top two spots. Intercepted! A lot of green grass for Taylor, and he will take it the other way for the pick six. Alante Taylor, the senior from Manchester, Tennessee. And for volunteer fans, the Cookie Monster gets the INT. And the Cookie Monster read this one all the way. 
but he's in a squatting stance on the outside, and he just saw the ball get delivered and never broke stride. He took off running, caught the football, and just kept going. And then gave me a little something in the end zone, a little shimmy over there by the cookie monster, Alante Taylor. Wow. 55 yards the other way. And so both sides are able to cash in on a takeaway tonight. Extra point is good. A 10-point Tennessee lead. And a name, image, and likeness cookie for volunteer fans tonight. Got to get some momentum, got to create some opportunities. Got to move this chains to pick up the speed. Second and seven. Hooker going to take a shot downfield and wide open is Peyton. And look at this. The Vols take the lead. Javante Peyton. Big shot, deep shot, hand in Hooker. And Tennessee out in front of Florida with a 75-yard touchdown strike. Tennessee fans can breathe a deep exhale because I just saw a Tennessee quarterback hit the receiver and stride down the field. How many times in the first three games have we seen volunteer quarterbacks throw it 10, 15, 20 yards over the receiver's head? Not here. What a great throw from Hendon Hooker to Peyton. As the big play explosiveness of this offense very much alive. Longest Tennessee pass play of the year, topping what had been their longest. I want to see if they, wait, if they would establish the run. And you mentioned no tie in Evans. They've only got 18 yards rushing so far, so this may be a game that's just on the shoulders of Hendon Hooker. Yeah, they just say, let's, let's throw it. Or we'll run it here. Small breaking tackles inside the 10, and he's gone. Touchdown, Tennessee. 37 yards. And a fourth lead change puts Tennessee on top. Wow. What a block by the right guard. I think it was the block on the right side by Javante Spragans. Just coming all the way down. Actually, it was Cade Mays, the tackle. The guard pulled, the tackle comes down, and just sealed that. And then Jabari Small just takes off and just makes his Barry Sanders impression by making a guy miss in the open field and racing for a touchdown. What an answer by the Volunteers. Boy, this is a big play <laughs> offense. Seven possessions. Our crack statistician, Russ DeLynn, informs us none of those over three minutes. <laughs> that scoring drive was 43 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> a little stop and start. Jabari Small said, no, not small. I'm going big. Tears. That is Jalen Hyatt, who's a deep threat for them, and that's his first target of the ball game. Yeah, it's surprising that he's been so quiet. Obviously, such a great playmaker with the ball in his hands. Hendon Hooker over the top, Tillman down the sideline. Tennessee comes right back. Just roasted Job down the sideline. And how about the throw? Job's not even really looking. They snap the ball so quickly. Job's looking for a call. He gets caught. Next thing you know, the wide receiver's beyond him, and the throw is on the money. What a response from the Tennessee Volunteers. But that's the third time now that Alabama's defense has poorly communicated, and as a result, leads to points for the Volunteers. That is the rhythm and the tempo that Nick Saban was talking about, and Tennessee bites them with it. The deep ball hasn't been there all year, but it was this time. 70 yards, Hendon Hooker to Cedric Tillman. We got a game in Tuscaloosa. Tennessee hasn't beaten Alabama since 06. They're close. We'll find out together.
will be Manning. Back to throw. Across the middle. Pass complete. Ball down at the 35. To the 40. To the 45. To the 50. To the 45. To the 40. To the 35. 30. 25. 20. 15. 10. 5. What did he do? All he did was score. Joey Kent. Touchdown on play number one. Peyton Manning. Joey Kent. It's all under the direction of Hendon Hooker, who's got the best passing rating in the SEC with 17 touchdowns and two interceptions as he makes his seventh start of the year. And they will throw it on first down, a receiver screen, and a first down and more for Javante Payton, that big play man, makes another one. And the Volunteers open it up with a 75-yard score. Well, you want to go fast, and this is what Tennessee does. But Kentucky, sort of what we saw last week, it's reared its ugly head all over again. Poor tackling from this defense of the Kentucky Wildcats. Mississippi State had big plays because of the missed tackles and already to start this football game. You can't volunteer those types of plays, but yet the Tennessee Volunteers are already on the board. Terrific blocking on the perimeter from the other receivers out there. The extra point is good from Chase McGrath. And for Peyton, his fifth touchdown catch of better than 25 yards. That's his second 75-yard TD of the year. It's just blocking on the perimeter. You've got to be physical. And no one gets off a block. And in poor tackles right there, you've got to be able to make the plays. This Kentucky defense, they talk all week long about getting to the spot, being physical in their tackles, and just making the play. And the play's there to be made. You got to make it, did not, and now it turned into Tennessee singing the fight song. Terrific blocks from Velas Jones and Princeton Fant out there to clear the way for Peyton. And one play in, the Volunteers on top, 75-35. 